Aries, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Let's go over the basics before we get started. Yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else. It does not have to be, therefore, about a significant other, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whomever fits the bill in terms of that dynamic I'm describing. So it could be about a family member or friend. So do keep that in mind, yeah? It doesn't always have to be about the romantic stuff. People often choose to take it down that way because that's usually more often not why they're watching tarot so the resonation principle is a little easier there but that's it really so take what resonates leave it does not reverse those energies as you see fit more so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real rapid and fluid these are after all general collective readings and not one-to-one -one private so the odds of them not completely resonating or at all pretty normal you know it's frustrating but it's normal check out the placements you will find yourself in there somewhere let's get cracking please <laughs> Oh, once more, happy birthday to you. What's going on, please? Show me Aries. Show me Aries in their person. 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 What's going on, please? Show me Aries in their person. All right. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I said, reverse those energies as you see fit. What's up? What's going on? Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Aries, honey, what ha What's going on? What is it? Wow. What is everything? It's not like uh, we haven't gotten over a breakage, and that's okay. That's not an accusation. Okay, it's just how it is. I can see you've been holding on to Four of Pentacles. What you've been holding on to, I need to dig into your Five of Pentacles because it's affected you deeply. There's some sort of break here, uh, and it's real abandonment too. It's not the kind that we fear. It's already happened. There's some sort of breakage here that we've held on to. We haven't let it go. We haven't been able to quote-unquote fix it either. It's in a not happy standstill. You're aware of it. It's not like you're unaware of it. The King of Pentacles is very aware of the investments he make, the ones that aren't working out, the ones that have left, they're no longer supplying a particular resource. Trust me, the King and Queen of Pentacles are extremely aware of those things. So I don't know if this has to do with you in terms of some sort of connection or where you're finding yourself possibly currently now in uh, your monetary landscape. Perhaps you're withholding coin. I don't know. It's pentacle across the board for you. So I need to clarify and see where that sense of I can't let this go is coming from. I can't tell if we've parted ways with the connections and you're still kind of begrudgingly holding on to that, okay? Or it's like uh, we've been forcefully parted ways with coin and we haven't been able to let that go either. I don't know. It's unusual for you. So it makes me automatically think, just in case, guys, if you're not Aries Sun, okay? Just FYI, Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Page of Pentacles. I have someone here who says, I like being me. <laughs> It's not in a conceited way, as far as I can tell. It's someone who says, I'm very comfortable with who I am, and I make my investments accordingly. Um, they say there's nothing that they don't do, that they don't check in with themselves first, right? And then they're like, I know how to invest. So they're showing me a fair amount of pentacles as well, but with a sense of justice. This is who I am. This is what I'm about. I know me. This is kind of like they're saying, I know what I'm like. I know me. I know what my investment categories are in terms of this is what I think is worth it, because they kind of check in with themselves quite a bit. Um, and what that page of pentacles has to do with you, what that means, I don't know. We need to clarify. What's, 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 what's up? The king of cups, the three of cups, the ace of cups. Love. That's what's up. <laughs> From somebody's most sincere heart with the king of cups here, we would love to connect with this. We really would. Um, it's a little bit of there, I guess, both between you two. Because that's, that's, that's just... That's, that's Elton John's I Want Love, all right there. I want love, love, you know, the whole thing. It's like, it's a beautiful song. Strength is in your opening. We're going to see how you are understanding strength to mean. Uh, strength was the major point in Sag's reading, and I mean major point on both sides. So you got any Sag in your chart? Talk to all, because it was all about that. Um, but yeah, look at, look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? King cups, three cups, the ace of cups, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's beautiful. Someone very much desires to connect, and it's coming from love. One of you, both of you. What's up? Let's go ahead and take a look at you. We're going to start there with your overview. That's strength. 
Show me strength, please. Show me strength, please. Four Aries. Show me strength, please. Speaking of Sag and Leo. I went over the 40 minute mark. That's okay. They both need a little extra work, but I do need to I need to tighten it up. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's see strength, please. Show me strength. Show me strength. My regulars rolled their eyes. The people who are new are like, what? Really? Yeah, really. Hi, my name is Christina. We do he said, she said jokes around here. Yeah, okay. It's just something you can expect if you become a regular. It is what it is, guys. Okay. Here's that four of pentacles. Ooh, Aries. Uh, seven of pentacles, two of cups. See? You're showing me a little bit of that classic Aries. This is mine, no. Mm. And that's that stubbornness just a wee bit. <laughs> There's a weird sort of mix of pride in you about this. It gives you strength in a positive way, and it also pulls back from you simultaneously. So you got to ask yourself, how do you want to interpret this love? as something that you can claim and it's yours pridefully for the right reasons or one that you want to let go of because your pride says that you need to. Which one is it? You're like, oh, I know. I just had a nerve with some of you. I felt it. Oh, I felt the hairs go up on the back of your neck. You're like, oh, Christina, you better be careful. No, you better be careful, boo-boo. You tell me what you want. All I can do is point out the obvious. So it's at this point... I want to repeat to folks, Altera, like all YouTubers at Will Free Will, you don't have to watch, never mind participate, and by that, I mean be mad. You know? I want to help the Aries that wants to work through this. And um, that means looking at things that make us irritated. You know, and this I can tell this irritates you. Parts of you are mad <laughs> for holding on to this because you still want to claim it. Because it makes you feel good, makes you feel strong, makes you feel prideful knowing that this cup once upon a time was yours. And it, it's still attached to you to this day. Part of you is also equally prideful and resentful that you're holding on to it. Because it's not there. So how do you want to use your strength to claim this or reject it? Okay, there's something I want you to think about as we go along here. Because the shared here, I'm, it just, call me crazy. I've, I've only been doing this for a minute, but whatever. Oh, it looks like we still want to connect. <laughs> so, is that love cup yours, or is it not yours? Is it for you to claim, or for you to reject? Because you're like, even you are admitting to me, okay, I've been holding on to this for a minute. I just can't get you off of my mind. Right? That song by Lenny Kravitz, which is beautiful, or you feel threatened by it because it's true. Right? I get you. Well, we got a couple of song references for you today. Let's see that Four of Pentacles. I want to take a look at that at closer detail. Once more, I'm not making fun of you. Just trying to lighten it up a little bit, because I know how you can get. It's out of respect to the Aries Collective, not the opposite. All right. I see that Four of Pentacles, but I have to kind of, I'm leaning into this really heavily that you are not Aries Sun, and that's okay. I see that Four of Pentacles, please. The Chariot, the Four of Cups, the Empress. Oh, hopscotch. You, 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 you hop in and then you go backwards a little bit and then you jump out to the sides and you get back on the main tiles. What, what do you do? What are you going to do? Do you? I, mean, there's, I know you're disappointed the Four of Cups is here, Four of Pentacles, so this has been quite the distinct holding on pattern for you. And I'm going to guess you hate it like you hate it 
you hate that you can't let this go, but you also don't feel like you can move towards it. You're just caught somewhere in the middle between I want this and I, I can't have it or I'm, I, I, I got to let it go. Does pride mean I'm moving forward? Or does pride mean I'm retreating? What do I do with it? That depends, guys. I can tell that this person means a lot to you. Yeah, there's times where you can feel a surge going towards them. I, I can go towards this. I can go towards this feeling of love because it's here. I can also reject it. But in not being able to answer that question one way or the other, you've kind of fallen into this pattern of just holding on to this connection or this energy and doing nothing with it. You know, it's like, a, it's like you're saying, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> so you end up somewhere in between where you're not satisfied with either result. And that's because you energetically don't know what you want to do with it. That four and four, that's no joke, guys. That's, that's a strong holding on pattern of, of being unhappy. The chariot would have us rock it forward, right? Move it forward. That's where we would like to go as the Empress. Then we refrain, start the whole thing all over again. So when I tell you it's been with you for a hot minute, you know, it means something to you. It means something to you a great deal. Let's see that five of pentacles. I want to see the extent of the damage here. Let's see that five, please. You haven't shown me hate, but you have shown me a great deal of dissatisfaction with yourself and the situation. And <clears throat> Let's see that Five of Pentacles, please. <clears throat> the Moon, the Two of Swords, the High Priestess. I think... Uh, The fear of whatever this represents gets in the way of your intuition, to be perfectly blunt. I'm not sure how else to put it except to be as blunt as possible. Whatever the outcome it is that you fear towards this situation, fully accepting the separation of it and putting up no more contest energy towards it or thoughts or opposing emotion, any sort of challenge, okay? It says you fear to accept that answer, just like you fully embracing it says you fear to accept that answer too. So in that insistence upon confusion, you can't hear yourself. Your intuition is really trying to talk to you about how to handle this. And you're like, nope, nope, nope. I just got to make a decision and stick to it. Thing is, if that worked with you, I wouldn't have seen the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles. It's in your opening. It's in your, actually, it's in your overview and in your opening line. So, I mean, if that was working, you'd have the results of it by now. You'd be able to completely let this go without contest, or you'd be able to completely accept it and embrace it without contest. I think the fear of embracing your decision in either direction really keeps you from listening and having an answer that you feel comfortable landing on. So, I mean, again, honey, what, what do you want? Because you're not listening to yourself right now. Okay. What do you want with that, Empress? Do you want to go to them, or do you want to completely deny them? You know? I, don't worry about them. I'll get to them in a minute. They're not perfect. No one's perfect. I wouldn't have a job if that was true. What do you want? Let's say that King of Pentacles, who more often than not is given the credit for knowing exactly that and then uses his resources accordingly, or her uh, resources accordingly, to make the appropriate investments. Let's say that King of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, twice. The Some of you might be Taurus dominant. I was just saying. 
I didn't have the feeling <laughs> that I was looking at Aries sun today. Sometimes I pick up on that. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> that that's that's all tour. <laughs> It's right there. That is some really strong doors energy. You might have some in your chart. Uh, in King of Pentacles, the Hierophant. King of Pentacles again, the Eight of Pentacles. Christina, what can I say? I have very strong work values. I I think you do. Um, I need you to commit to yourself and trust that you have the answer in you because you do. Okay, this insistence upon confusion, I'm not buying it. What I, like I said, I think I'm looking at someone who is really afraid to embrace their choice, to fully accept this love, the union that it represents, to step into it, or to completely deny and reject it. Okay, I know you have the strength of will. That's, that's a no contest. That's a no burner for me. I see that. I can tell it's going to be your will, your way on this. So make that work for you, not against you. The only thing I want you to do is come to peace with a particular subject. Parts of you flow towards this. And the second you do, you smack it down and say, no, you don't. That's anti-intuition. And it's on the premise of, if I commit to either direction, it could hurt me further. Okay, so you not committing to either direction to fully accept or reject this also hurts you. It takes away from your time. It takes away from your sense of most productive self. It takes away from your own sense of investment and resources and understanding who the hell you are with the Hierophant here. Being in commitment to that King of Pentacles, this is me. Whatever this is, the conflict it represents is showing me anti-self. You have the decision, even when you insist you don't. And you've had lots of time to tell yourself, I can't commit to either direction. That's where this, this is where you get hung up, right here. I'm afraid to listen to myself. Why? Because then you would get the correct answer. You do have the correct answer in you. And I know that you pride yourself on being resourceful and standing by who you are. Okay? You're very good at what you do. On the 3D, no one would know. You ha And I mean no one would know that you had this internal conflict. No one would know. The areas I'm looking at? <laughs> no. No. I think the areas I'm looking at, if anyone knew, I think you would personally rather have your fingernails pried off of your hand than allow any of that internal fragmentation to show. Like, that's where your sense of pride, strength, and stubbornness is kicking in. You're like, that's, that's my bullshit. Nobody needs to know about that. Well, you know, we're here, so... <laughs> <laughs> but look at you on the surface. Look at you. Aren't you just a badass? Look at you. Look at that, that high saturation of external self. You're, that's the earth version of I'm sexy and I know it. It's like when it's on the earth surface of that presentation. It's like, oh, solid as rock, baby. Steady hand. Inside, you like all that. Bullshit. <laughs> so, if you're indeed the master of your coin, master of your domain, okay, and you know what a good investment is, I don't know. Is love a good investment for you? Because you naturally gravitate towards this. But you fear embracing it. The Empress is a mighty strong pool. And everything that she or he represents. I really want you to trust yourself more. And that very thing that you try not to listen to is what you need to listen to the most. Your answer is right here. Right there. Let's check this person out and see if they're worth all this fuss, eh? Okay. You scoot on down. I'm going to bring you forward. Nine of Pentacles. I like this person there. And he's just like... Hmm. I think I feel good today, and I feel pretty good, balanced. Yeah, I know what's up. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> so I want to tell you, they just kind of have a time in their day where they just check in with themselves. So this is what I'm doing because it feels right. That's it. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of like it. It makes sense to me, you know. 
Let's see that Nine of Pentacles, please. Show me that. And they've done well for themselves with the Nine of Pentacles there. So you two have that in common, I'm guessing. Outward appearance in terms of structure, reliability, this is what I can do, um, these kind of things. Let's see that Nine of Pentacles, but let's just clarify and make sure they're not completely, you know. Let's just see if they're worth all this back and forth fuss. Let's see that Nine of Pentacles, please. They are also unhappy. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Look at that. They're reflecting very... Yeah, you two are very much alike, eh? Uh, yeah, no, they're reflecting very similar energy. Uh, they're unhappy, too, in their own quiet. So you two have that thing in common about face value. This is what I can show the world on the inside. That's none of your business. So <laughs> it, it's been with him, too. They understand, too. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords. You know, they're like, uh, I've been unhappy, too. But they it's a quiet acknowledgement on their part. Um, they said they haven't felt much better about the break themselves either personally. On the outside, they're fine, you know. Um, they're doing what they're doing, just like you're doing what you're doing. They have their own particular sense of growth around them, but uh, when it comes to you, they admit. Intellectually, with the Queen of Swords, and emotionally, they're not satisfied with what happened. They understand this too. They reflect upon it as well. You reflect upon each other quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that you two have that exchange where you have moments of similar reflections on the same memories, you know? Which means, I suspect, we shall see a soul bond here. <sighs> okay, let's check out justice. Show me justice, please. Show me justice, show me justice, show me justice. The Three of Cups. The Sun, Page of Swords. Oh, they reflect upon you. You wouldn't know that. You're kind of busy over here being like, I'm not trying to think or feel or sense anything. Oh, yay, yay. Oh, the spam is out of control. Um, iPhone typically is pretty good about catching it unless they have a legit business name. Then it won't. It's so irritating. It's it's insane right now. The robocalls are through the roof. Okay, anyway. Um, Justice, Three Cups, The Sun, Page of Swords. They, I, I will say this, this person is very honest with themselves. They're saying that they would love to connect with you and feel the sun with you once more, feel light, warm. And they said that was never really an issue. They knew that part was fair, justice, you know, that it was balanced, that you both felt three cups in the sun, that you both rejoiced in each other's company, the simplest definition of these two, rejoicing in each other's company, making each other feel light, warm, appreciated, welcome. Just happy. Being in each other's vicinity made you both happy. They say it was felt on both sides. This they know. The um, greater emotional value of what fuck happened. That you both still struggle with. That's why I see you both reflecting on the same memories. Whatever connectivity here with the Seven of Pentacles attached to you both was inconsistent. And it did not grow. Right? So that means... When you two pull from your well of memories, there's a limited selection to choose from. Make sense? Which means when you two reflect on each other, it's literally about the same memories more often than not because there weren't many. There weren't many to pull from, which is not an accusation for either one of you. That's just how it shook out for you both in the 3D as far as I can tell. That's a backstory. We're not doing that today. But yeah, I mean, inconsistent growth, inconsistent growth... Slow, slow, you both retain the same memories. You both retain a sense of disappointment over those memories. Why it didn't mean more, why it didn't fulfill more, because we both felt the potential of it. But I will say this, their energy made this very, very clear. When they understood that you two connected, they knew, based on how you two were with each other, that it was fair at that value. That sense of lightness of being in joy. Okay. And there's that little, little guy, Page Swords, sometimes. Yeah. 
they check in on you, but it doesn't, there's no reality attached to that. They think about you, they reflect on you. They wonder about you, but it doesn't go beyond that. It's funny because you two are both sitting there thinking about the same thing, probably thinking about each other at the same time, reflecting on the same memories. Let's see their page of pentacles, please. I, I wasn't going to bother with that, but given the page of swords here, I want to see, and given your your massive exodus of <laughs> Earthian, this is what's up. I got it. I, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. You bite more than you can chew in the 3D, right? You're always signing up to things, always contracting yourself to things. But if you're comfortable with it, that's then you're comfortable with it. Um, let's see their page of pentacles, though. Let's see their page of pentacles. Let's see that page of pentacles, please. Let's see that page of pentacles. If I have more time, I'd like to take another crack at that. I'm not satisfied with the answer, just like you're not. Because if you were listening to your intuition, I'd be very curious about what it would tell you. I think you already know, which is why you keep going back and forth about... Should I open up to this because it feels like it's mine? Or should I close it off because it's already gone? It doesn't feel so gone to me, and it doesn't look so gone to me. Not at the emotional level. No, no, no. Let's see that page of pentacles. Eight of swords, page of cups, justice. They're saying they would love to open up towards you in the 3D, but they wouldn't know how. They're saying what's not fair is the opening piece. Okay. When you two were in each other's approximation, it was fair. They said the reaction that you two experienced was fair. It was equal at the same space at the same time. What they're saying was not fair was the emotional investment in terms of deeper satisfaction. Okay. So they say they can't imagine, they wouldn't even know where to begin on how to invest in that with you. Um, because as far as I can tell, they experienced a closed off subject with you. Here's the emotional participation where it made sense. On the surface where everybody could see it, you both clearly made each other happy when you were like hanging out, whatever it is you want to call it, okay? But in terms of there being more to it for satisfaction, this is where this person gets confused. That's where they get confused and I lose the trail of their energy because it's something they have no conclusion on and perhaps they never will. They said it. They don't know if the deeper meaning was ever of value to you. Okay. Was the deeper meaning ever of value to you? And that's the exact thing I see you questioning. Did this have a deeper value to me? Because it seems if it did, I would go towards it, but also I'm not listening to myself. And so you've been going back and forth on that for a while. I would very much love to know what your intuition would tell you when it's not muddled with a bunch of crap like the Five of Pentacles and the Moon and the Two of Swords. Let's see. That. So their their energy, I'm sorry, it's a dead end. It's a, it, I, I can't tell when you two last connected. I have no clue. The last time they had any deeper emotional attachment to you, that's where their question leads off. I don't know if it ever meant more Aries. And that's where their questions stop. I can't see it. Um, they have a very strong sense of it. I don't know if it was fair. When we're in the moment, because this is very much in the moment, it feels equal. But in the absence of it being in the moment, I don't know that it is, or that it necessarily means more. You have such a strong practical face value. I can see where they see you having left the trail many times. Perhaps not able to answer to yourself if it meant more to you. And the answer is there, guys. When you say someone is the empress that you have to actively refrain from, yeah. But here's the noise. We insist on getting lost to the noise. Let's jump on over here. 
This is interesting, guys. Why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? Let's take a look at that King of Cups, please. Show me that King of Cups. Show me that King of Cups, please. I should just change yours and theirs to after the fact readings because people often show me what happened after the fact and how they're still processing it. And that's cool because people do want to learn more and that's why I'm here. I just, I want to catch things before they get to this point though. Let's see that King of Cups. Show me that King of Cups. Show me that King of Cups. Page of Wands, the Hangs Man, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, their art space still holds on to you. They, they, this big old feeler, they have a strong sense of practicality and I do what I feel is correct for me. But when it comes to that heart space, they're like, I'm a big old sucker. <laughs> and, uh, they, they, Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Four of Pentacles, it's, it's literally their emotional energy for you stopped. They just know that they still love you. So they don't exchange those words with you. They don't give you those actions anymore. Nothing about that. They said it just, they literally, I told you the last trail I had of them is they question if it ever meant more to you. And they have good reason to, to see that or think that. I mean, look at the process that you have that's still unresolved for this situation that more or less is your, your question. They never got an answer. And they just know that they love you. Whether they like it or not, they still do. Why do you think they reflect on you? King of Cups never feels anything that he does not feel to be true. Whether or not they like it, they still have a full heart space for you. Even though their heart space for you literally is in a state of suspension. In other words, they cannot give you more. You two are disconnected. Um, they can't participate with you at the emotional level. Because in the moment, it feels good. But the greater extent of the thing has never been fully realized. Let's see that three of cups, please. It's almost like saying their heart for you is on standby. That's a lot of standby, guys. Four pentacles, four pentacles, four pentacles for all of you. Uh, and I, you know, I have this thing about, you've heard me say it, don't wait. <sighs> Try telling that to a big fat king of cups, you know. When you still love someone, it doesn't, it's not you mean to wait. It's just you realize your heart's still holding space for someone. Uh, you know, it's, you can't really talk someone through that. When they're ready to let go through the heart, then they're ready to let go through the heart, and they haven't let you go through the heart. Um, they might have intellectually, they might have spiritually with justice here. But uh, they still have a very sizable space for you there you know so it's not like they're waiting for you but uh, there's still a space in their heart for you okay i'm not quite else sure how else to put it all right three cups show me the three cups please show me the three cups oh yes indeed let's get the lawnmowers out it might be raining any minute let's get those mowers out ah <laughs> Huh? <laughs> the rain's coming. I know what's happening. It's panic. It's panic moment. Rain. I'm sorry, guys. Panic mowing because it's going to rain here any minute. So, three cups. We have the seven of pentacles, the four of cups, judgment. Jesus, you both. The both of you. The both of you. Show me very consistent energy. I just hate it because it's so non-conclusive. Yeah, I mean, once more, guys, we have the opportunity to reconnect with this. You have to know that that's something that you can embrace. That means the love and feelings you have for it, too. Uh, and that means they have to check in with themselves and ask themselves once more, is this something I could do? Uh, otherwise, their energy trails off because they're not really the star here. It's about your particular process in this connection. Uh, but yes, like their heart is on standby and your potential to reconnect with them once more has not gone anywhere. The potential of it still exists. It's just not being utilized. Everything's on one big standby, but it does come down to someone's lesson. And uh, the four cups, here's the four cups again, last seen over here with you. It's understanding the biggest disappointment in you comes from, again, not fully rejecting this. Okay. And not fully accepting it. What will you do? Okay, once more, I'm not picking on you. Uh, the situation is the situation is the situation. Why you couldn't fully give yourself to it, I don't know. 
but the fact that you have been mulling it over this long tells me that it's it's with you and it's important to you. But you won't allow yourself to feel your way around it. Um, to really fully answer the question, and the day you do is going to be very liberating. You know? Can you live without this connection? Uh-huh. Oh, a thousand percent. You showed me that. Look at that. No, no, no. That King of Pentacles can take care of himself just fine. Clearly. Of course you can live without this connection. Physically. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Let's see that Ace of Cups. Show me that Ace of Cups. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Knight's of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Oh, right there. I was about to say, don't let me scrap this one, guys. I only scrap or lose readings where I see no conclusion. And I thought we were headed in that direction. So that's why I did a time check. So it's like, how much time did I sink into this? Uh, and still not seeing any sort of movement. Well, congratulations, there's movement here. Uh, someone's prompting a reunion. <laughs> so thank you. I already say it. Oh, boy. Okay. As I say, I, 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 guys, you know. So there's that three cups, which I told you is on standby. This person's feeling for you. That space, that mantle place in their heart for you is still open. It's just on standby, standby, standby. And now we're taking some action. Yay! Action! Sounds like a bad porn. Yay! Action! <laughs> well, at least I assume that's what bad porn sounds like. God knows. Ugh. Anyway, Ace of Cups, uh, Knight of Swords. Not that I have any problem with porn. It's just, can you imagine? It's like, it has to be so on route now. Like, it's just so streamlined. I bet it does sound like that. Yay, action. So hot. That's what it sounds like to me. Anyway, Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Yay, somebody's taking action here. I don't know who it is, but Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, so it's from a shared, known, comfortable environment that's established between you two. I see us rejoicing once more, so Three of Cups, Three of Cups that was here this whole time. So we are going to try to reconnect from this, or reconnect to this from the heart space. I That Knight of Swords is something that I often see Aries default to, um, sometimes in that space of nerve. Get in there. Just do it. And I believe that's what I'm seeing for you. But um, I don't know. I don't know who's prompting it. I don't care. I'm just glad something's happening that suggests, okay, we've made a decision. I see how someone here is finally leaning in. I am seeing what looks like a reunion um, in that space of getting together. What's going to be discussed? I don't know. But I just know that you two have a wealth of environment shared subjects or shared interest to discuss there okay it's not like we have a lack of conversation points in there there's plenty to discuss <laughs> so <laughs> but it's coming from the heart ace of cups that's all i really care about and it's looking like the connectivity will be straightforward okay oh my gosh gosh you guys i have no idea of when or the time i have no idea because the stall and delay is really real i see most of the processing having happened now over spring uh, specifically march and april possibly upwards or back towards pisces season back in february we have been contemplating this and contemplating this so seeing the final thrust forward <laughs> well whew, i have not a clue let's take a look at the oracles and see if we have an idea here Okay, what's going on? I don't know, but it looks like we have uh, reasons to celebrate or raise glasses and a cheers or a toast once more. Okay, the facade of all false beliefs, doing away with that. This doesn't mean anything from to me. I can separate myself from it. That's not the case because we would have let it go by now. Let me know if you're connecting to water sign. We had lots of water here today. Also with that ace of cups, uh, right there. I know. Oh, I know. Sometimes that I did see that with the Page of Swords, and I'll tell you why. I don't think this person's a spire. No, for those of you who watch a lot of the tarot that's on YouTube and TikTok, no, it's not about spying, guys. It's about I don't know what else to do. It creates that helpless feeling. So all we can do sometimes we look back and reflect 
uh, and that's what I'm seeing here in terms of that watching, inspecting, because it's because of this person's confusion. I told you it's they don't know what else to do. I told you literally the trail of whoever this is falls away because that's where I can last see them is that they're just confused. They don't know what else to do, especially if there's a big hanging question here about did this actually mean anything of real value to you beyond just connecting in the moment. This person never got that answered, so they can't help but wonder if it was just a big state of emotional illusion or confusion. So while they can remember fondly looking back on this, the same memories that you have access to with a sense of this felt really good at the time. In that moment, I knew we were connected and we were both sharing the same sun sense of happiness but in terms of greater context of the thing no that's that's where they that's what I'm saying that's where their trail ends is in confusion and was this whole thing an illusion okay the feelings you know I'm not really sure I can get too much more off this one here uh, Self-love, creation, and set your intentions, absolutely, when you discover that Ace of Swords, your ultimate truth in this, okay? Yeah, no, in terms of timing, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. No, that's for you to live, and we're not doing time checks today. I want people to kind of get off the time checks a little more, okay? Um, as people start making decisions, that's when things start to play out. That's how that works. I can't tell you what to do, and I can't make you do anything you don't want to do, Okay? Um, imagine how hard it is for you to change as a person. Never mind the concept that it takes two, and so it does. So as one person starts to put one foot in front of the other, things start to change. Okay? I can definitely see it's within your wheelhouse to take action if you so like. You're very practical. You're very resourceful. I have that feeling there's nothing you can't pull off if you don't want to pull it off. So you need to know what this means to you in order to try to pull anything off, quote-unquote, okay? All right, Aries, honey, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.